Rhodes' escape was a dramatic break in a case that had been kept quiet for seven months by the New York Times, which asked other media outlets, including ABC News, to also keep it quiet. Now some of the surprising behind-the-scenes details are starting to emerge. Since November, Road had been in the hands of the Taliban in Pakistan, in this region called North Waziristan. It was the second time in his journalistic career that he had been taken hostage. The Serbian army held him for 10 days in Bosnia in 1995. I am very happy to be in Belgrade and very grateful to uh, the assistance um, of the Serbian government in getting me here. This time, U.S. officials say he was being held by a notorious Taliban family, the Haqqanis, considered close to al-Qaeda. The senior Haqqani son, Siraj, was in charge, according to people involved in negotiations with the New York Times. In return for Rhodes' release, Haqqani at first reportedly demanded $25 million and the release of 10 prisoners from Guantanamo. The demands touched off a series of contentious meetings at the New York Times, where some of Rhodes' own colleagues argued against paying any ransom for fear it would set a precedent. Rode, who once worked for ABC News, called his wife in New York several times during the ordeal, as the Taliban began to call him their golden rooster. But according to the New York Times this morning, Rode was able to escape by lulling his guards to sleep and then apparently scaling down a 20-foot wall with a length of rope. But other key details of the escape were still being withheld by the Times executive editor, Bill Keller. I can't tell you an awful lot. Uh, I can't even tell you what the circumstances were that created this opportunity at the end. And yet, but no, no uh, ransom was paid. No ransom was paid. The Times was faced with a very tough decision, and there was no doubt that the people holding their reporter were prepared to kill him. People involved in the case tell us at least one messenger who was sent to see if Rode was still alive was killed by the Taliban as a message to the New York Times.